Hey guys, Susanna here. Um, I am a bit late with my video today. Normally I post one up at uh, 9 o'clock on Saturday morning, but um, I sort of have had a busy, busy week, so I thought I'm just going to do a bit of a catch up on some of the things that I'm doing and show you some of the stuff I'm going to do. Um, I don't know if some of you remember that I did. I might take it out of here just so you can see. I'm doing this um, quilt like it's like a, um, you know, a block of the month sort of thing and I love these little squares but I'm going to be doing it different. I'm going to have it where I will um, just join the pieces together. I won't have this big um, apron. I'm probably going to have another square with an apron in it and just make it into one um, cause big uh, quilt and because I, I want to hang it in my kitchen and this is just used it's almost a queen size it's just massive and it's just too big for me so what I'm doing is um, I've had two lots of craft uh, get togethers which my, with my craft group which I do every um, every month so um, I've made this one and this one and I'm going to be working on that one so I'll show you um, you know my bits and pieces that I've done I'm not going to show you put it together just a bit of show and tell of what I'm doing can you see how big it is <laughs> like that's the one square it's massive so that was this one that I've done and it, it's cut down to size of um was it 12 and a half inches and I've got um wadding on the back and I'm sort of like I'm so, sort of like going um quilt as you go a little bit um, I haven't got the back on there just cut that and then I'm just going to do like um, join them together um, like do a zigzaggy piece or even might even have another piece in between I've got to figure out how I'm going to do it because it's just so big I'm going to do a quilt as I go and that's the oven one which works out really well because I've actually got a red oven one of those red new viewed ovens so um, I just love the colors in the 50s vintage style about it and I've got a big wall in my kitchen so it's going to be another one again of this size and then so it will be actually be you can, you can see how big it's going to be so I'm trying to reduce it um so it's going to have nine norm of these this size square and then this one's going to have to be made smaller so I'll probably put the basket and a few bits and pieces on there um, and maybe you know like reduce it to fit in with that and then maybe just do a border with different with the leftover bits of fabrics one lot around the outside so just to make it fit so this is my um, yearly project that I am doing over the year and stuff that I'm taking with me I'm very organized this year <laughs> which is unusual for me so um, for my craft group I'm making one of these it's sort of um Laurie Holtz applique uh you know you you sew it and you reverse it and it's just it's really cool but I love love the colors and all that kind of stuff so a little bit different to her one but still similar and here's all the bits and pieces that you need and yeah it's really gorgeous so that's that so I'll keep you updated and posted with how that's going so I've done two there then I don't know if you guys remember this I started on this um, thing and I went to my nieces and I did a fair bit of stitching on that as well so this is my you know stitchery that I'm doing in the background quite happy with how that's coming along actually so what I did that's different to their one close that um, I made the eyes a little bit different and then I've done the ABC I did an ABC um, which I drew on and I thought I wanted a sort of an ABC stamp sampler um, I've got buttons on there which are still need to do she did a different stitch I've just done like a satin stitch 
and then straight stitch around um, just stick a certain stitch around here and now I'm in the process of stitching these pieces down so I'll show you a little bit closer angle set and stitch so there you go it's a work in progress but I've done all the done all the leaves and everything so that's how I'm going along with that so um, I think I've done all the red ones I'm now doing the The yellow ones so it really I um, haven't got that much to go because yeah well I stayed over my um, niece's house for about three days and did quite a bit of it so it's coming along rather nicely and I've also got because my um, where is it? it's getting a very quick sneak peek because my um my heart thing was so popular i've got i was um i've been meaning to make something just a little bit bigger and this is like an a4 size and this is just purely in the raw um stage at the moment this is like a french i haven't even designed it properly but this little guy is going to sit here with a I mean, it's still, this is still the original design. Haven't even, you know, done it properly. It's a little sparrow and he's on a spool and he's like mistaken the, the thread for like a worm. Um, and I've got this beautiful fabric with all different types of like, it's got um, blue flowers, pink and yellow. Um, so I'm still not even sure whether I'm going to put that on there. I don't know whether it goes or not, but it's going to have some of that bit of this some of this gorgeous stuff and I had this queen size quilt um, and it's got it's either that side I personally think that's too busy for me but you know someone else might want to do that side and I've got I'm just gonna work on this side and then I have got enough I cut out 60 of these squares so i'll have 60 kits available and then i had enough to make i'm going to do some um sewing case something like this as well i think i might have maybe uh, 18 i think so i mean i've got 60 of these squares i may not end up making 60 kits but i thought i wanted something just that little bit bigger and this is something that, you know, still a work in progress. But I thought I'll give you a bit of a sneak peek. And the reason why I'm showing you is because I've got all these bits left. All these little straggler, quite a, quite a number of these um, pieces left over. And I'm wanting to do... So this is something that I'm going to be making for the channel. And I'll have kits and it'll be a tutorial and all that kind of stuff. So um, that's going to be later on down the track. But you get a bit of a sneak peek. But I just thought I'd show you because I've got all these little bits and pieces left over. And the other day I went to the vintage market and I bought this. It's a it's a unfinished um like look like a tablecloth. I cut it in half and it had this bit in there. And then I drew um this is like a pink galar. So this is the actual vintage, you know, the old stitchery. Someone's already started it, but looks, it's even got a little bit of rust there. It's quite, quite dirty in places. But I thought I want to stitch these, and then I'm going to maybe um, because it's sort of a bit of a lighter pink on the top, and then this. And I'm, I've seen something on Pinterest where oh, I just want to really make it 3D. And I'm going to um, do a stitchery and um, work on that. And I really loved, I thought this is the pink. And so it's what I'm going to do with that. Yeah, but it just, because I drew it in pencil and then I went over it in um, the marker. It just looks like it's always been like that. But I actually did draw, draw it. <laughs> so um, it's going to be gorgeous. I thought I'd do something really pretty and special for myself. But you can come along the journey with me um, 
when I do the stitching and, and I'll show you maybe and you can probably make something like this yourself I do have this design pattern if you are wanting it I could probably make this into a PDF like as a design um, if you are wanting wanting it like when I started I can let you know and have it on my you know it'll probably be only a dollar because it's just a, a design that you can trace and do yourself but um, what I want to do is I've got there's heaps more than that but I thought I don't want to make them too um, I might have to do whether I'm going to do just cut little pieces you know like this and then just I'll be just sticking on little bits and pieces and then sewing them down it's going to be quite 3d but what I also want to do and I might show you what I'm going to do here first I've got this Ugh. this is my brushos and I put a bit of um yeah, those little you know uh, pigment ink and I put a bit on the bottom and then I add the rest with water because um, it's the galar is sort of light a real light pink on the top which this is and then it goes into a real deep deep type pink so what I'd like to do is get some of these pieces I get some of the bigger ones where are we? And spray them because I need some dark, dark colour as well. Okay, and then I'm going to proceed to it is quite dark. <laughs> Like the pink that is with the galah is pretty much this colour. Um, it will dry lighter, but um, and I don't mind that it's a little bit blotchy as well. So once I dry that, this is what you do if you haven't quite got the colour that you want. And then I'll I'll add that to that. So I'll have the light stuff on the bottom and once this dries up, as you can see, it's lightening up even just as we are speaking, it will lighten up and um, it'll become quite a nice colour. I don't even mind seeing some of the, yeah, the, the nozzle's a bit blocked and it's coming out as one stream rather than a spray, which is a bit annoying. Um, quite... Uh, shocking like as in you really need to wear gloves when you work with this stuff <laughs> so yeah so that's what I will be doing with that and so I'll keep you posted but you just get little bits like that and then you get yourself uh, you know like a thread and I'll get it in see if I can find what else we got you know maybe some of this and then I'll, you know, do a running stitch and just grab little bits of stitches and stitch it down onto that. So I really want to make it quite textural and um, quite 3D because I saw something similar. I've been wanting to do textile art on Pinterest for a while now. So, um, yeah, so there you go. That's what I've got planned in the future. And um, I really love that. I just think it's so cool. I really like it okay hey okay, guys well thank you very much and um not not a very long video but something of what's ha happening and up and coming um i'm quite excited about the little the uh um sparrow on the spool i think that will be absolutely gorgeous it's going to take a bit to do it but i thought i wanted to do something and that's going to be a wall like my little hearts that i had there they're quite good for, um, you know, putting on journals or whatever. I've just got them sitting on my wall. Um, but this one is, like, going to be a really nice wall hanging. And the reason why I did a sparrow, because um, I wanted a bird on there, but I thought I just really like little sparrows. And I've got the, the scripture, his eyes on the sparrow, but that's something I'm doing for myself um, personally. 
um that's why i did the sparrow but you guys can do whatever you want okay well be on the lookout for those they'll be oh geez it looks really bright <laughs> it is a lot lighter in real life it does look very bright but galahs are quite um quite pinky <laughs> um and but that will dry a bit lighter thank goodness for that okay guys well i'll catch you later and um i'll see you in the next video which is this coming tuesday which will be um my fox so um I've pre-recorded the fox so I just want to let you know that in the kit you actually do get a backing fabric I think um, you get a backing fabric and I also took a, a colored photocopy of the actual background um, not the background the actual finished thing so every video I add extra stuff on there but because it's pre-recorded so they're already packed and done ready to go um, and you'll have a colored photocopy with all the embroidery and stuff on there because you're going to need it for this month he's absolutely gorgeous he's probably my favorite to date <laughs> even though it's only the third one but i've got all um up until about november created and ready to go as in like at least at the you know the drawing stage so very happy with how everything is going okay guys thank you very much and i will catch you um on Tuesday. Bye!